are looking at the famous equation of Alexander Friedman and he came with this equation at the age of 25 this was a revolutionary equation he gave this equation before Hubble and when he gave this equation Hubble was looking at the stars and galaxies and calculating the stuffs so that he can tell us that um, I have the data which tells us that the universe is expanding so these equations tells us a lot about universe so where these equations came from um, these equations were derived from the uh, equation of Einstein's field equation of general relativity the equation which tells us about the uh, curved space time how the gravity actually works and also the Newton was wrong about uh, gravity concept of gravity he says it is the force between two objects uh, and one object attracts the other while Einstein came up with a thought that it is a curvature in space-time but every mass curves the space-time and uh, mass tells it's a famous line that mass tells space-time how to curve and space-time tells masses how to move so with all that theory Alexander Friedman, what Alexander Friedman do was he gave a equation which tells us about whether the universe is flat or spherical or saddle shaped these are the three possibilities I know there are a lot of possibilities which can happen because the universe is uncertain there is a lot of stuff going out there but what this equation tells that universe is isotropic in nature universe is isotropic isotropic means uh, if you look you are standing right here and this is universe this is universe so isotropic means if you look from here and you look uh, here and you look here what you see is same exactly the same thing all around you it means it is also homogeneous in some aspects it is also homogeneous and also these equations tells that the universe is static also the universe is also static so for our universe the k the k we call the k we call the cool name which is cosmological constant cosmological constant okay i don't care if the spelling is wrong k is equal to zero for our universe the k is equal to zero which is which means that we live in a flat universe what is this a with a dot so a with dot is actually I, I tell you what complete a with dot divided by a is that is rate of change of scalar factor divided by scalar factor right? huh. so I can tell you that this a is actually we call scalar factor the scalar scalar factor we call a is scalar factor so sorry no dot here just remove the dot uh, this is a scalar factor scalar factor is uh, we will tell further what is scalar factor because it is something really interesting so we'll, now we just see that what this is this is a dot a dot means the rate of change of rate of change of scalar factor so the rate of change of scalar, scalar factor that a is dependent on time it changes with time and this a is scalar factor scalar factor i already told that i don't care about the spellings so this is all and also we call this stuff as h naught which is hubble's parameter hubble's parameter So what else is in the equation is this row this row is actually density density of density of universe and everything all I have told that C is actually the speed of light which you already know the G is universal gravitational constant which Newton came up with and this is all the stuffs 
which we need to know about this equation so that we can further re matlab, we can further uh, have a look on this equation further know what this how this works